All right, welcome back. In this video, we are gonna be learning how to use NS attributed string. Now, if you haven't gone through the past videos and you're just watching this video, you still will be able to learn a lot about NS attributed string and you shouldn't have to go through the last few videos. If you want to, go ahead. But if you just wanna learn about NS attributed string, this video will help you out plenty, all right? So let's go ahead and turn this link into a actual link, right? We want it to look a little bit like this. Actually, we want it to look exactly like that so that when we click on it, it will take us to the app or to the browser if we don't have the app, okay? So for example, here in uh, the simulator, you can see if I click on it, it goes straight to the actual Safari because I don't have the app. You'll see it says use the app. And that's just in the simulator, right? Obviously I have the app on my phone. So if I were to open this on my phone, it would open it in the app. And I'll show you how that all works when we get in the next video. But for this video, again, I wanna keep it straight on an distributed string. So let's go ahead and get going, all right? So we need a modifier app link, obviously, and it's actually gonna take like a lot of code, not a lot, but like more than would be desirable in this did set. So what we're gonna do is cut these two lines out, set title and set title color. And then we're gonna say set up app link. And then we'll go down here and we'll say file private, funk set up app link. And then we just basically want to paste those back in there. Okay, go ahead and recompile your application. We should see it working, except for you'll see that it says it must be unwrapped, right? So basically this is a problem, but we can counter it by just copying social account that guardlet and performing that test again in here. And if you don't remember how that works, basically we're just saying, hey, does social account exist? If it doesn't return, if it does, it passes the test and it can run this code down here, okay? So now that we have that set, we are ready to write our NS attributed string and we know everything's working in our function. All right, so let's go ahead and let's declare our NS attributed string after commenting these out. Let's go ahead and say let string or str is equal to NS attributed string. And then we'll just use the string initializer and we'll put in social account.url. Okay, next thing we wanna do is we just basically want to set that on the app link. So we'll say app link dot set attributed title, and then we'll say str, and then we'll say dot normal. Now, if you compile this, it's just gonna be blank and white because we haven't really modified anything other than the string itself. Okay, so let's go ahead and make the color of the string a different color, and then we'll add that underline. So it's gonna be super easy. All we have to do is basically declare some attrib attributes and say, by, by saying let, attributes is equal to, and we'll actually define the type here. We'll say ns attributed string key dot key, and then it's gonna take in any object because we might put in a color, we might put in a number or a font, because these are basically gonna be the attributes of our ns attributed string. Now what I want you to do is delete this because there's actually another initializer we can use. And that's gonna be the one that takes in a string and some attributes. Notice how it says returns an NS attributed string object initialized with a given string and attributes. Choose that one. And let's go ahead and pass in our string again. So social account.url. And then our attributes are just gonna be our attributes. Notice how it takes in the same type, NS attributed string.key colon any. It's a dictionary of key value pairs. We'll say attributes. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put some values in these attributes. Okay, so we're gonna say NS attributed string.key dot and we'll say foreground color and this one took me like for freaking ever to figure out because you would think it would be like i don't know text color or something but it's actually foreground color to change the color of the text and that's going to be ui color dot blue and then normally i would just do something like dot blue but since it is of any type it doesn't really know that it's going to be ui color so we have to specify it so let's go ahead and reload our application and you're going to see now that it has a color of blue on that text. Now, the next thing we need to do after you see that working is we need to give it an underline color of blue as well. So let's go ahead and say NS attributed string dot key dot underline color is equal to UI color dot blue as well. Now feel free to use a custom blue color if you want. I'm just gonna stick with blue, okay? Put a comma after that top blue so we can add in both those values. And then it might not work because we haven't really set the underline style. Okay, so we need to add in the underline by saying NS attributed string dot key dot underline style. And then this one also took me forever because you basically just put in 
zero, one, two, right? Zero, I think is gone. One is an underline, two is like dashed or something. I don't wanna test it. If you wanna test it, you can, but I do know that one is a solid line. So you can go ahead and use one. And now that that's set, you can see that we have that underline and it looks really clean except for it kind of has a weird font. Let's kind of reduce the font size and make it look a bit better. So I'm just going to say NS attributed string dot key dot font. And I'm just going to set this equal to NS, sorry, UI font dot system font of size 16. Let's see system font of size 16. Okay. So now you can kind of see why we have to use any on this instead of a direct property, because these are all kind of different. We got colors, we got a number, and then we got a UI font. So you can see that they are different. So we need to have any. All right. So that looks really clean. And that is our NS attributed string. Now I was thinking that we would have to align it with paragraph style, but I don't think we have to do that at this point, considering we set up our auto layout with NS layout constraint properly. So let's go ahead and jump into the next video where we are going to basically make it so we can actually open up these links. See you in just a second.